Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Character Inspiration with Cali Calf. It actually sounds a lot better than, uh, than it did in my head. Um, so today, I'm going to... I thought of some character inspirations for... Like I said in my last video, I'm going to do Stick With Humans and then kind of work my way through the, the classes. Each of the classes picking the class, three different variations, three archetypes, or what have you, um, and then backgrounds that could fit with them, or that I just kind of thought of. Um, I felt like, you know, going in a direction with it. Um, so this week is Warlocks. Um, I'm not super familiar with Warlocks, because um, I didn't really play them in 4th edition, and I, I don't know if they were in 3rd edition, um, but... And I've looked a lot more into them for 5th edition, but I have not yet played one. So, first off, um, a human with the Archfey, or Archfey, uh, warlock, and let me, let me actually pull that up in the thing of a bomber. So, Archfey has some pretty nifty abilities, but this is just character inspiration, it's not you know game balancing or anything. So, um, human Archfey warlock with the, the chain pact. Uh, is that before this? Nope, that's. Pact Boon. So, Pact of the ch Chain. You learn the Find Familiar spell and can, ca can cast it as a ritual. The spell doesn't count against your number of spells known. When you cast a spell, you can choose one of the normal forms for your familiar or one of the following special forms. Imp, Pseudo Dragon, Quasit, or Sprite. Additionally, when you take the attack action, you can forego one of your own attacks to allow your familiar to make one attack of its own. So, my, my thought was, uh, you do that and then you take the Outlander... The Outlander um, background, and so the whole idea is essentially uh, this: this human was him and his family. Maybe they they live out in the wilderness, um, somewhere in the northern region, not super north. You know, it doesn't have to be, but but maybe there's uh, there was a really cold winter. You know, he and they their um, their supplies ran low, and so he went out hunting, or she. It doesn't have to be a guy. Uh, I go with he because I'm a man, but it could be either either gender. Uh, generally, none of my backgrounds or character inspirations are gender specific. So if I say he, it's just because I inherently, as a man, go to men. Um, as a as a because I am building the character, so I I don't I don't play females. Um, not, actually, I kind of did. I played a halfling rogue named Fanny, but. Um, but yeah, cold winter, very cold winter. Maybe he got lost in the woods. Um, maybe he was just trying to find, he was trying to find something, something to hunt something for his family. Um, and he came and he, you know, got lost and somehow found his way near a fey, one of the fey um, lords, and I believe in Xanathar's. Oh uh, no, Sword Coast, maybe. Yeah, Sword Coast. Uh, it kind of gives you, maybe he ran into Titania, no, probably not Titania, but the Queen of Air and Darkness, she was out there, he ran into her, she wanted to make a deal. He's like, I need food for my family. He didn't, maybe he didn't realize the deal he was making at the time, but he made the deal anyway because, you know, his family's important, and so to survive the cold winter, he made the deal. Um, and then they survived the winter, and then maybe game the game starts the su you know the spring or summer of uh, discontent no wait um, it's a winter of discontent that so that's when the game starts is he's essentially he was given the um, he started his pact or with the queen of air and darkness and she now wants him to go do this thing and maybe you know it ties up with the what the party is going to do um, so that could be a good because it's out in the wilderness, so it makes sense that you'd run into the, the Archfey out there. Um, having a familiar makes sense, because they, you know, lots of animals in the wilderness, so that makes sense. Um, Outlander, you know, kind of out in the wilderness, and it, it kind of all ties in. Um, so the second one was uh, a human undying, with the undying um, thing. Patron. So... And taking the pact of oh, oh, let me go back to class. Pact of the tome, uh, and so this human was 
maybe abandoned or something, or maybe he just wanted to learn from the best. And so maybe at a young age, his parents sent him to learn from the dwarves. And so he learned as much as he could, but they're like, well, you've been here for this long. You're what you would be a grown up. And he realized he wants to learn. He wants to learn all of the crafts because especially from these masters, because he could not, he could never be as good as a Dwarven Forge master because he's only going to be alive for this amount of time. So maybe he selfishly, or maybe not, maybe naivete comes into it. Maybe he made a deal with one of the undying um, patrons, which in the Forgotten Realms is Larlock the Shadow King or Gilgim the God of King of Unther. I don't much like Gilgim. I like Larlock a bit more, but so maybe that's why he wanted to. He wanted the knowledge for crafting. He wanted um, the excel, uh, the lengthy life. Because at one point, it's you know. In addition, you age at a slow rate. For every ten years that pass, your body only ages one year. So he wants to stop, or at least slow down his aging, in the hopes that he could. Because lichdom isn't for everybody. You have to be a necromancer, or you have to be a wizard for lichdom. Usually, and any other, maybe he doesn't agree with the whole being uh, undead, but maybe slowing down how 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 he ages so that he can master maybe one craft, or maybe he wants to master all crafts because maybe. Maybe you're a person who likes to build things, and you want to, you know, like, I'm going to school for engineering, so I'm like, I kind of want to learn all the different engineering, even though they're super difficult, but maybe maybe you want to learn everything, so kind of bring it into your character. It doesn't even have to be crafting, you know, maybe, you know, you're, you like art, and uh, you want to be a good, really good at art and singing or something, and it's a couple different things that you want to be good at, but you don't have enough time, so you can kind of explore that and express that using this character. Once again, male or female doesn't matter, because um, I'm sure there are female crafters. So that that was kind of the idea for that character. It's not as complicated as you know the first one. So, um, and the third one is oh, I need Xanathar's for this one too. The third one is a human hexblade warlock, and I'm sure if you watch this, you probably also watch Critical Role, so you know what a hexblade looks like. Um, Travis's character is a Hexblade. Oh, I'm way in the front and back of the book. Um, art. Sorry, should have had this prepped beforehand. You know, that's how we do. Monks. Monk, 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 monk. Pede Dolm. Sussera. Oh, no, it's Ranger. It's Rogue. Okay, Warlock. No, this is not being cooperative. Hexblade. So, maybe... Oh, it starts over here. Hexblade. So, Human Hexblade Warlock um, takes the blade, Pact of the Blade, which makes sense considering you're a Hexblade. Um, maybe they, at a young age, got into fighting. Um, got pretty good at it and decided to, I think... That is it, that background. So, nope, I think that background is actually in this. Uh, background, come on. Why'd you not do that to me? Mercenary, mercenary veteran. You know, you got into it. You wanted to... You really just liked combat. And you really wanted to get into it. Um, and then, after a while, it did kind of grow stale. But you still kind of enjoyed it. And then, I like the idea that... Because at some... Sometimes... Uh, one of the things that they talk about patrons is sometimes you're the only one, or sometimes uh, you have to kill the former one, or there's, you know, different ways of doing it. They, you could have multiple patrons, or one patron could have multiple packs with different people, or maybe they only have one pack. But I like the idea that essentially it's like a Highlander. You you follow the pack, pack of the, the Hexblade, and you make a deal with whatever, you know, a god of war or something, and... But they already have one, and they're only you're, there's only there's only there's only there can be only one, and so maybe maybe you f realize this and you kill them. Or I like the idea better that maybe you deserve to be one better because you fought them in single combat and killed them, and so the weapon, the hex, the blade, the hex blade, the the magic blade, actually transfers to you, and as does the pact, and that was kind of the thing, and now. 
you kind of go out and not necessarily kill for your, you know, your your patron, but you fight, and it it's, it coincides thus far. You know, maybe you're there. They want you to go wipe out this group of goblins, which conveniently is where the party is going. So um, that would be a good thing. You, it's you know, they're pretty solid. They're solid. I mean, they don't have. I think they have like D eight hit points. Uh, I don't remember. I, like I said, I haven't played one. D8, it's not terrible. I mean, fighters only get D10, I believe. So, anyway, I wasn't going to try to... No metagaming or mega gaming here. So that's kind of, you know... It, like, it, once again, very simple. You just... You're the only one. So, I mean, there's the possibility that other people might try to take it from you. So you have to make sure that you get as strong as possible, as quickly as possible, as equipped as possible, have your group around you, do great things so that your... Um, your patron can keep giving you power so that you don't lose this power because you, you enjoy this. You like, you liked being powerful, but you want to be more. So that was kind of the idea I had for, for warlocks. Like I said, I'm not super great with warlocks. I don't know a whole lot about them, but so my, my, my knowledge is limited, but that's, that's some of the ideas that I had. Um, next week should be human sorcerers. So Come back next week. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified every time. My plan is Sundays at noon to drop for these videos to post so that, you know, people can watch them. Um, plan on doing one every week. But if peop if somebody wants me to do one of a class that they're looking into, you know, race class combination, I could throw out one that if somebody's like, oh, man, I want to play a dwarven cleric or cleric of Bane or something. I could, okay, that's, and it, the inspiration for that. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty solid at mega gaming too, building a solid character, but that's that's not what the intent is here. It's to give players an, an idea for um, kind of a character. If you're drawn a blank, you're like, man, what do I want to play? And they're like, oh, look, you know, uh, I know in books they give you, you can randomly pick, but this, you know, watch the video. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, and I will catch you guys next time. Kelly, hello. Bye.